Welcome to the History Hunter. Welcome to my small adventures with the Second World War time frame. Today we're going to do something special. I'm going to do something that you probably have never ever seen before and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Um, please subscribe, comment, share, watch our videos in absolute full length. That's the best way to support us. So let's go out there and see what today is all about. All right, we're at the location and this doesn't look too bad. Actually looks really nice. Weather can definitely be pretty good here today, I think. You can hear birds, you can hear the ocean. Just fantastic. I might start off by just checking out this area here a little bit first. Just to kind of uh, see if there is something else here. The Germans were definitely here and uh, that's why we're here. To figure out if we can find pieces from the past and I'll definitely share with all of you. And yes, it is incredibly wet here today. It's been raining it seems like for one and a half week in this area. That's why I haven't been able to, to travel so much lately. It's been very, very bad weather, but that would probably normally not be there at all. Now it's like a small pond. You can actually see the skies in the pond. Beautiful, but ugh. So boring when it rains for days. All right, I'm gonna try and do this without too much glare. I laminated the paper so it will last out here. But basically, Atlantic Wall position where the Germans had some heavy duty fortifications and the minefields. At this spot, there's a small beach here and the invasion, whatever the Germans could call it, could come in from this side. This is very rocky, so that it's very difficult to enter. But you can see here, this is the outline. You see the red line going here, 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 over there, 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 there. That is the actual minefield, and it used to stretch over here. But the re there's reason for that not being here anymore. So in this area, they put on, put down the telemines, the huge anti-tank mines and the um, personnel mines, the um, S-Mine 35, and they were stretch along here. And now you might wonder, how do I know that? Well, let's take a look at the terrain around here. I know it's just gonna be grass for you to see, but I'm actually walking on top of what used to be the minefield. But then you could say, how do I know? There is nothing here, except from a ton of water. Let me show you. This is flooded completely and that, that is actually a piece of where or part of where the minefield was. So that's not good. But uh, you're asking me, how do I know that there used to be a minefield right here? Well, there are two ways to find out that. One way is to use the Minenkarte or the mine charts that the Germans produced when they uh, made these things. Another way to do it is to actually use high-tech um, uh, things from 2019 and that's exactly what we're going to do. But the Minenkarte or mine charts would definitely show right here that the minefield was here. But we're going to do it in a different way and I'm going to show you how that works. So this is an overview of the area. You can see this field here near the water or the flooded water, that's the minefield. And uh, the minefields were put up everywhere when the Germans really needed protection from uh, the Allies. And uh, what happened was after the war, all of this, the mines were still there. But the Allied commanded the Germans to remove the mines themselves. And when they removed them, they will remove them by using the charts that I had, but they will also have to go manually in with sticks and just feel their way and use metal detectors as they had that time as well. Find them, de-arm de them with taking out the fuses and all of that. When they do that, they have to afterwards dig a hole to take the mine out. It was not always perfectly covered, so the holes would very often just actually be there. And there would be a reason for those holes being open, and that is they could confirm that the hole actually had a mine. 
All right, so that's kind of how it worked. So the mines were put down by the Germans, the mines were taken out by the Germans, and they left a little mark. And that little hole is a secret of uh, what we can take advantage of in 2019. But if we are able to take advantage or not depends on what happened to the soil after the war, okay? So somewhere along the Atlantic wall, these minefields can be found very easily by a mine shot or the meaning carta from the Germans, but they're not always available for everyone and can be pretty tough to find for the specific area that you're in. But as we're walking right here in this field, yeah, I know it's just green, but this is how I want to show it. Um, in here, there would be small indentations, small depressions, and it's been, it hasn't been developed after the war, so it looks pretty much how it would have looked during those days. Near the beaches, farmers would very often have some um, fields, maybe like this, sheep would go on it, but they wouldn't kind of totally, completely turn around the ground and all of that. And in that way, there could be um, clues, even today, for us to find the specific holes. Maybe even every each little hole can be visible. So let's take a look at that. So here is our fantastic image of uh, the beach area. And uh, I have kind of made this little red mine, as I said, and I put some mine, 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 mine. What is all of that? What is that about? Well, let me show you. This is a laser scan of the same area. This is a laser scan being made by an aircraft thousands of meters up in the sky. Now, suddenly, you can actually, if you see it very closely, you can see round holes. Can you see that? There, I've actually managed to pinpoint one hole there, there, another one there, and there. You can see there are a series of small indentations or dips in the ground, like three, three, four, three, it goes up here and it increases in width, goes over here, and then it turns over here. The reason for it not being here is that it's a corridor. The overlap, the overlap pattern of the uh, trench system, sorry, the, the minefields are very intricate, but that is actually one of those. I've seen that on a minion cart or mine chart. So, what are we left with? Well, we are left with a very, very precise um, image on this aerial photo. There's nothing to see. With the laser scan, you can actually see the round holes here even today. So my target is actually just one thing. I want to see if I can get a confirmation. Maybe there could be one, just one single little thing down there that will uh, show me that the uh, minefield was there. I'm looking for mine uh, detonators, maybe some transportation caps, block off caps, uh, what we call the Christmas tree, um, brass. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm lost here. I'm just watching a bird going bananas. <laughs> um, you know, the brass um, uh, igniters or the aluminum igniters with the typical three prongs coming up. So that's basically my target. And why I'm doing this? Well, it is kind of connected to a bigger picture. So this is basically the target of today. So let's gear up and see if we can find something. Oh, I had to seek refuge under a tree here. It is so much, it rained like crazy, you know. Well, kind of stopped and uh, this is the tools that we're gonna use for today. The macro multi-cruiser metal detector. That is just basically, I take it along everywhere when I go to the beaches for the uh, minefield hunts. I have the small sniper head. There's a specific reason for that and you can separate signals one by one very quickly and actually very deep has a lot of programs it is waterproof can pack down to a very small unit you can take the electronic unit off the stanchion blah 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 it is just fantastic and it works in very wet conditions and i'm really happy with it knock the pointer very very good pointer i'm just loving it you can 
adjust the gain here, the loudspeaker is on the back so it doesn't get clogged. You have a LED, very strong one, and you can exchange the tip if you wear it out. So for me, that's a winner every day. I have my old faithful spade, which I modified, welded, bent, hammered, you know, it just can take everything. So why don't we start and see if the uh, hunt for the Atlantic Wall minefield can be successful. That's what I'm hoping for. All right, there are two signals here. Just have to find the other one, clean that up, and see what that is. It's actually a, um, a, uh, oh, I have a brush that I use. This is a cap, a transportation cap for the s mind. I used a little steel brush I have. That is pretty cool. That is definitely a confirmation. I will see if I can find some pictures of how this works, but this would be like a, these are in either bakelite or in aluminum, and you can put it on the top of the mines, screw it in, and when you want to put in the detonators, you screw that out, put in the detonator, and this one is just being discarded. So that's probably been here since they laid the minefield, not when they kind of took it away. All right, let's see if we can show a little bit of this. This is a kind of drawing, so a picture of the S mine. This is one of the, uh, this has been found in another spot with the prongs. That's a beautiful little example. It's pretty corroded. This one goes like on the top there, and if you touch this, boom. But the cap that we found, this one here, is actually used to block off. When these are off, they will screw this in. And caps on the top here on the side so definitely a confirmation of uh, a minefield being here otherwise this item wouldn't have been here yes we do have the first confirmation of uh, the mines really good confirmation as well the cap is one thing but down there is the uh, it's a detonator for an S mine. I'm going to take it up, clean it a little bit so you can see it. Wow, that actually cleaned up pretty well. Some of them have actually got a date on the side. Yeah, it's, come on, come up there. Where is it? There it is. Right there, it's a date. I'm going to see if I can zoom you in there. I'm, I'm not going to promise that it will pick it up. Oh, I just wanted to make it easier. There it is. And uh, this is not complete. There's a couple there which have the prongs, which is very, very rare because they're in steel, iron, so they would rust. These, they go on the top here of the S mines. So that's kind of the best confirmation you can ever have if you were uh, to find a minefield. And so far, we've been pretty successful, I think. So I actually made Quite a few finds up here. Uh, the detonator was found almost like the outmost mine there. The cap was around here. But that area, which is very interesting, is completely flooded. All of this is flooded. And there is like a bundle of holes there. So I'm going to do a little bit more, see what comes up. Well, that scared me. So it was a spare barrel for machine gun. On them earlier. If not, it's just a tube. But that could easily have been a uh, spare barrel for machine gun being dropped or discarded. This is not the impressive, you know, finding machine guns and helmets and all of that, but it, it's kind of in the context. For me, it's very important to get the feel of the area, find out whether the information is correct, finding the minefield is a piece of it, as I said, and there will be definitely more details coming up later from this place when I can get back when it's not that wet you know, like half the minefield is under water here so that's a bit of a problem actually There's a lot of things here actually well I shouldn't have said that that video actually ended in a very special situation which I actually cannot show you in the video but nevertheless, it's in a very exciting spot and uh, I'm definitely gonna come back. Um, from a lot of small pieces, we did some massive discoveries, which as I said, I'm sorry, cannot show them. 
but I uh, hope you understand something is uh, not kind of things you show. But uh, nevertheless, the S mines, the Tele mines, all of that stuff is still there and uh, we found it. We used old technology, modern technology, and we found the Robo 2 minefield. I have some astounding material coming up regarding some other um, areas of the Atlantic world beaches and minefields, and some of them are just, just incredible. So look out for that. Other than that, please subscribe, comment, share, watch the videos in full, check out my videos in the beginning of each month where I do giveaways to my beautiful supporters and you can become a patron and PayPal supporter and take part in that at any time you want. Just check the links in the description under the video. Other than that, see you out there in the next one. Stay safe and goodbye.